Hey fellow glitches, welcome back to our channel. It's been a little while since we put out some YouTube content. I want to show you how to do voice changer in OBS Studio for free today, and that's what we're going to be covering on the video. Let's get started. Hello there and welcome to our YouTube series. If this is your first time here, help me out with a little bit of likes, subscriptions. It goes a long way on the YouTube side. It helps out the channel, all that fun stuff. And of course, if you see me live on Twitch, I stream quite often. You're welcome to jump in, chat with us, have a fun time. It's actually pretty hilarious stuff that we have going on over there. And of course, ask any stream related questions if they come up while we can. I'll try to cover anything that I know. If I don't, I'll refer you because uh, that happens sometimes. Um, today, we're going to be talking about Leoran board uh, integration with uh, basically VST plugins, Reaper plugins, and how we can set that up to do voice changing on the fly for you and also your chat and mess around with stuff with like channel point redemptions. Actually, kind of fun stuff. Let's go ahead and jump into the stream PC and I'll show you what we're talking about. All right, we're over here on the stream PC. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to, this is another plugin style video. I've done uh, Reaper plugins before. Um, so I'll had to link that old video down there for you. So if you have any problems installing this, um, you just follow that and you should be pretty good. Um, this VST plugins sometimes get buggy. So I do want to caution you uh, when you go to close OBS studio, sometimes it gives you a little bit of a non-response glitch. Um, I just click it. it seems to work fine for me. It's not a big pain for me and I just live with it. Um, if you go to update, however, I've noticed that you've had to turn off these plugins on the background and to actually update your OBS. Anyways, Reaper comes with a whole bunch of stuff, including a, um, a compressor, um, an equalizer. Um, it comes with a real filler, which can take out your background music, um, a gate built in, uh, quite a few really cool tools. And even with the equalizer, you can get a lot of your voice changing kind of like accomplished for you as well. Um, I think it even has like a delay uh, built in as well. So quite a few things on there. Uh, here's another one as well. I mean, these, these are all different things you can use. I'll link a few other ones down there for you. This is uh, Auburn Sounds. It's a basically a pitch changer, um, unless you do distortion, um, kind of like an auto-tune set as well. There's a free version and there's also a paid version. I just want to give shout outs real quick to uh, Neverhu. I'll link his uh, voice uh, changing tutorial down as well. Uh, he made a really cool um, Leoran board style voice changer video and you can learn a lot from that. Uh, I won't go into as much detail as he does because it, quite honestly, you can, you know, you can watch his video first and foremost. It's really good, uh, but also depends on what you have for your current voice. So like if you're a little bit deeper, you maybe you don't want to bring it down that many octaves or if you're a little higher pitch, maybe you don't want to change it. You know, it kind of depends on your personal voice on how high and how heavy you want these modifications to hit. Anyways. That's kind of that side of it. Once you have it installed or them installed, there's even on some of them that have like echo and um, reverb and such. So it kind of depends on which ones you want to do. Going into your microphone settings, you're going to go into filters. You can see I have a few of these guys already in here, including my gate, my compressor and all these other things. And the way filters work is it starts with the very first one and then goes in order. So if I have any extra filters down below, these are going to be basically my voice changes. I already have one here set up for voice, uh, demon voice. I'll kind of show you what I did for that. Um, so I'm just going to hit a new um, VST plugin. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Um, I'm going to pick a different plugin. You can see I have a few different ones in here. The um, reverb in here, Marvel G EQ. I would probably use the reverb to give me more of a God boost. You know, that echoey God sounding voice, God mode voice, whatever you want to call it. Um, they have Auburn Sounds, good pitch changer. I can use chipmunk voice or whatever. Um, the one I think I used before, I believe it was the Marvel GEQ. And you open, nope, that's the other one. Mm, oh, pitch proof. Pitch, pitch proof. proof. I, I didn't, didn't uh, show this one on the first screen, but I'll link it also in description because it's super easy to use. And before I start messing with it, I'm going to unhighlight the eye so you can still hear me while I do this. Because, to be honest, as soon as I start doing it, you'll 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 be hearing like five different voices, and it's like, what what's going on? Um, pitch proof. Okay, bring this guy up here. So here's pitch proof. It's really really simple for it. Um, this is just one example. You can bring your pitch up or you can bring your pitch down. <laughs> it's pretty pretty simple. Let's go ahead and you can blend your wet and your, you know, whatever. So I'm going to go down a few tunes. Um, and you can actually just do it like, 
like plus or minus octaves. So if I wanted to do demon voice, for example, I think I went with like minus six octaves. And once you hit the eyeball, it will kind of like, I won't hear it because I don't have my headsets like, you know, on or whatever. Um, but once I hit this, this, this would be the, the demon, demon demon voice. You should be able to hear it on the recording. I'll unhighlight it again because that kind of can get a little annoying. I've noticed sometimes um, you want might want to give a little bit of a, a volume boost with it as well. Kind of depends on what you have going on. But this is a really quick, easy one. I'll link this one down in the description. So anyways, once you've established which ones you like, and literally you kind of have to play with this a little bit. Play with the echo, play with the pitches, play with whatever you want to play with until you get them the way you want. And now that it's a filter in OBS Studio, we can toggle this with the Leoran board. So once you've got it established the way you want, I'm just going to leave it the way it is, you know, on this recording. I'll probably play with it a little bit more if I wanted to. Again, you can just do a recording, hear yourself back, or even monitor your own voice so you can kind of get an idea as you're playing with it. Um, but anyways, once this is enabled, it will turn on. We're going to go into Leorn board to get this thing set up. Um, you can make a new deck for it, whatever. I, I can, I'll just make a quick new deck here. We'll do a couple of different buttons. We'll do um, change text. This will be voice on, I guess, whatever you want to call it. So you understand what it is. Um, and the command that we're going to be using is a change filter change visibility. Source name is what scene that you you have that um, item. Oh, actually, no, it's just a straight item. So for me, it's the my road mic. So basically, whatever um, item that you have the filters populated on. So for me, it's my microphone. The filter name is that voice a name that you <laughs> I just scribbled in right there. And then we're going to toggle it to true. So whatever you named your filter. So the your microphone, whatever you named your filter, set it to true. And then we're going to make a copy of this button. We're going to paste this button and we can edit the commands and now we can change it to false. We'll hit it on false. We'll hit done. So now we just change the text to, oh, I don't want to add an image to off voice off. Um, so if I hit this button, it will turn it on and this button I can turn it off. So um, you can use it also as a press toggle. I like these ones so I can just fire and forget. And then I'm going to make one more button that is going to press these buttons for me, basically. So I'm going to use space here. I'm going to create a new button. And we'll just call this voice chat or whatever. So this is the one that the chat will trigger. And we'll go ahead and go into commands. We'll add a new command. And basically, we're looking for a button manipulation. And you can go into button, trigger the buttons. Um, if you need to find the ID, right click on it and there's a button ID. This one's 13, this one's 124. So what we're going to do is hit 13 and then after whatever time frame you need, uh, you can hit button 124. So whatever buttons they are. Apparently I deleted a couple of my on my other deck. So we're going to trigger button 13 and then after I don't know whatever time frame you want, we're going to trigger button uh, 124. All right. And then we're going to make this a chat redeemer uh, as a Twitch trigger. We're going to go ahead and do a point redeem. This lets it connect to channel points for us. And I'll say something like uh, demon voice or something like that. And so now chat can manipulate it. And we also have it on a little bit of a delay. Whatever delay you want, it's in milliseconds. So if you do 6,000 milliseconds, that's six, six seconds. Do 60,000 seconds, it's going to be uh, a minute, 60 seconds. Um, so we'll press button 13, and then after a minute, we'll press 124 for us. So that's kind of how we can have chat toggle it. Once you've established that, you can hit done. We can go into our stream deck itself. Let me open that guy up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And then... I loaded it out on, I think, deck one. Oops. I, don't, I didn't put a deck switch on it, so we need to start as my deck number one. And there's my, my, my deck. So if I hit this button, it should have the filter on, which it does. And you can probably hear my voice change. If I hit this button, it's off. You can see that filter turns it off, so now I'm back to normal voice. 
And lastly, the last thing we need to do is kind of just test it with channel points. So I'm going to go into my stream real fast. All right, so if you're jumping into your stream, we need to make a channel point system for it. I already did, but I'm going to show you how to do it again. Um, underneath creator dashboard, you can go into your community, into channel points. I'm always looking for more channel points ideas. And you can see I already have uh, a previous demon voice here. I'm just going to delete this guy. I'm going to add a new custom reward. We're going to call it demon voice again because that's what I had it. Make sure your spelling is correct and I'm pretty sure capitalization matters. And then some sort of cost. Does Anything else really doesn't matter. We'll create this button. And then I want to make sure my capitalization is correct. So real fast, let me go back into my receiver, into my deck one, in, in my Twitch trigger. Yeah, I did have it capitalized. Okay. So we can hit done. And now if I go into my chat, my channel, um, I can go into either my dashboard or my channel side of it and then go into chat. And then it looks like I'm hosting somebody, but we can you can redeem it and test it right here by going into your channel points and testing it out. Um, all right down here, channel points. It's infinite for me, and so if I click on Demon Voice and I redeem it, you can shoot here already on OBS doing its thing, and it already changed the filter for us. And I'm just going to flip it off because I don't want you to wait another minute just to see it flip off. But it will flip off automatically for us. And so now chat has one minute time using channel points messing with my voice. A couple of other things on this. If you do want to set up... Um, Multiple voices, like if you have demon voice and robot voice and chick monk voice and god voice or whatever you want to do, um, you're probably going to need to do some sort of queue system. Um, I've made queue systems before. There is a queue command system. There's also a variable control system. I use variable controls for pretty much everything I do. I'll link that video as well so you can just kind of see how I've done it with variable controls so only one asset can be fired off at a time. Um, and I'll link that video down in the description. So that's pretty much it on that front of things. Um, if you do have any questions, of course, DM me. I'll see you glitches on the next video. We've got a few more coming out here this week. Nice. Die when I see you with my wingman. <laughs>